Hey, good morning, Cornerstone. It is Saturday. Happy Saturday to you. God bless you. It's good to be with you uh, on Facebook, on YouTube, on your phone. Uh, we're in the middle of our 40 days of grace. I think this is the end of week four. Uh, so grace to Saul, grace to Paul. We've been looking all week long about how God's grace has impacted and affected uh, specific people in the Bible. Paul's story is really interesting. He was a persecutor of the Christians. And in the middle of the road on the way up to Damascus, where he was going to capture and kill a whole bunch of more Christians, God struck him down off of his camel, uh, made him blind, and told him to go and wait. <laughs> and uh, then there was a guy named Ananias who's a follower of Jesus, and the Holy Spirit called out to Ananias and said, Ananias, I need you to go find this persecutor of the Christians, and you're going to uh, take my message to him. Ananias was probably justifiably pretty freaked out. But I want you to think about just a couple of things about Paul's story and about how he was showing grace. Five things that really typify how God shows his grace to all of us. So number one, God calls you out by name. God called Saul by name. He knew him, just like he knows you. God invites you to leave your life of sin. He did that in Saul's life. God has a plan for your life. Number four, God is the initiator and the agent of change. And number five, God forgave your sin. I want to think one more thing before we go today, and that's about Ananias. Ananias was a vessel that would bring God's grace to Saul. He was being used by God to do something great in God's name and in God's kingdom. I wonder how is God wanting to use you as a vessel to bring God's grace to other people? I think about it for a minute. Pray about it. Take, take the weekend and, and just meditate that. Meditate on that. God, how do you want to use me? God, I have received your grace. I have grown in grace. I have been a benefactor of grace. I have received so much from you. But God, how do you want to use me to take your grace somewhere else? We talked yesterday about our story. The Samaritan woman went back and told her town and many, 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 many people became believers. I wonder, how does God want to use you? Think about that. Get a, a notebook out and, and journal your thoughts this weekend. Journal your prayers and imagine God... What do you want to do with my life? How can I be an Ananias? How can I be obedient? How can I be faithful? How can I walk just in step with you each and every day this week? How can I be a vessel of grace? Let me pray for you just as we wrap up this week. Mighty God, I pray, Lord, for each one listening today that they would receive from you today. Father, we want to be uh, receivers of grace, but we also want to be that vessel by which we can carry your grace to somebody new. Open up a door, open up an opportunity, give us a conversation that we can have um, to share a little bit of Jesus with somebody. Lord, this message is too great to keep to ourselves. We bless you and honor you today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Happy Saturday, guys. Enjoy your weekend. We'll see you tomorrow morning in church. God bless.